Let us quickly write the electronic configuration of all the 20 elements now. And before we do that, let's do a quick retake on the three rules. The first rule for writing the electronic configuration is that the maximum electrons in a shell is given by the formula 2n square, where n stands for the shell number. Therefore, maximum electrons in k shell is 2, l shell 8, m shell 18, and n shell is 32. Rule number 2 states that the electrons are always filled in a stepwise manner. That means unless the inner shell is filled, electrons cannot jump onto the next shell. And rule number three states that the outermost shell can never have more than eight electrons. That means we can never put nine or ten electrons in the outermost shell. Keeping the rules in mind, we also know that the electronic configuration is always written on the basis of its atomic number, which gives us the number of electrons. Now hydrogen has an atomic number of one, therefore its electronic configuration will be one. It will have one electron in its K shell. Helium has an atomic number of 2, that means it has 2 electrons. Maximum capacity of K shell is 2, we put 2 electrons in the K shell. Lithium has an atomic number of 3, it has total of 3 electrons, but K shell can never have 3 electrons. So we put 2 electrons in the K shell and we put the next 1 electron in the L shell. So it has a configuration of 2,1. Beryllium has an atomic number 4, we put 2 electrons in the K shell and we put 2 electrons in the L shell. That means it has a configuration of 2,2. Boron has an atomic number of 5. You put 2 electrons in the K shell, that's the maximum capacity of K shell, and you put the remaining 3 electrons in the L shell. Carbon has an atomic number of 6. We put 2 electrons in the K shell, and you put the remaining 4 electrons in the L shell. Nitrogen, atomic number 7, we put 2 electrons in the K shell, and we put the remaining 5 electrons in the L shell. Oxygen has an atomic number of 8, we put 2 electrons in the K shell and we put the remaining 6 electrons in the L shell. Fluorine has an atomic number of 9, we put 2 electrons in the K shell and 7 electrons in the L shell. Neon has 10 as its atomic number, 2 electrons in the K shell and 8 electrons in the L shell. This is the maximum capacity of the L shell and this is the first element that has 8 electrons in its L shell. Now moving on to sodium. Sodium is the first element which has now electrons coming in its L shell. So we put 2 electrons in the K shell, that's the maximum capacity of K shell. We put 8 electrons in the L shell and we put the remaining 1 electron in the M shell now. So it has a configuration of 2, 8 and 1. Coming to magnesium, it has an atomic number of 12. It, maximum electrons in the K shell is 2. We put 2 electrons. Maximum in the L shell is 8. We are left with 2 more electrons. We put them now in the M shell. So magnesium has a configuration of 2, 8 and 2. Aluminum has an atomic number of 13. We put 2 electrons in the K shell, 8 electrons in the L shell and 3 electrons in the M shell. Coming to silicon, it has an atomic number of 14. So we write 2, 8 and 4 as its electronic configuration. Coming to phosphorus, 2, 8 and 5 with 15 number of electrons. Sulfur, we write 2, 8 and 6 as its electronic configuration. Coming to chlorine, it has 17 electrons. We put 2 here, 8 electrons in the L shell and we put the remaining 7 electrons in the M shell. Coming to argon, argon has 18 as its atomic number, 18 electrons, so 2 electrons in the K shell, 8 electrons in the L shell and 8 electrons in the M shell. So this is where our first shell gets complete. Now coming to potassium, it has an atomic number of 19. We cannot write this configuration as 2, 8 and 9 as we have already discussed it earlier. We cannot have more than 8 electrons in the outermost shell. Therefore we write its configuration as 2, 8, 8 and 1. So there will be 1 electron in the N shell now. Similarly, for calcium, we write its configuration now as 2, 8, 8 and 2. We can never write it as 2, 8, 10 here since the outermost shell can never have more than 8 electrons. So this is how we complete the electronic configuration of the first 20 elements.